What's going on, guys? My name is Liv, and welcome back to um, another Call of Duty Modern for Free Country. Uh, today, I've got a gameplay of Kill Confirmed on Village with the CM901, and this gun is beast as hell. Uh, pretty good score, I think it's for me, since I'm new to PC, it was 15 and something. I know. We're new today, I'm going to be talking about my COD experiences and sit down, son, and how I got into COD reading. Well, what happened was, um, a few years ago, I used to follow my friend Jake a lot, um, still talk to him a lot, he's in the same school with me, of course, um, but I used to go over his house a few times and we used to play World at War on his PS3, and I thought, hey, this is quite fun, I'll get it myself. So basically then I asked my friend um, if I could lend it for my birthday, and he said yes, but then I asked him a few days after my birthday because I hadn't received it, and he said the disc had broken. He had broken the disc in his Xbox, so I can't remember when, and I just got stick, stuck. I got stuck and distracted. I don't remember when, but I went out and bought, well I didn't actually go out and buy World of War, I bought it off Amazon. And I really didn't enjoy it I, uh, when I bought it. I completed the campaign. And I just didn't like the multiplayer. It was too slow. But then, obviously, Modern Warfare 3 came out, um, like, in November that year. At Modern Warfare 2, I mean. But at the time, I wasn't really up to date with, like, all the games and stuff coming out, like I am these days. And I wasn't really, um, into Call of Duty then. But my dad phoned me up the week, uh, like, a weekend, like, a few weeks after um, it came out, and asked me if I wanted to borrow it, um, no, if I wanted to try it, I said, yeah, go on then, so basically, oh, my friend's on, uh, let me just send a message to him, I think we go, do not disturb, ah. yeah. um, and basically I completed the campaign, and I turned over it, and that was the first game that got me really, like, into Call of Duty, um, I re- I even admit it, one summer, like, the summer before Black Ops came out, I spent the whole time playing Modern Warfare 2. I made some good friends playing Modern Warfare 2, a lot of great times, but then Black Ops came out. The first few months, it was enjoyable, but then it kinda got boring. It felt too slow paced, so, I went, um, actually I would bought COD 4, before I bought Black Ops, but I don't remember the precise date I bought COD 4, so... But COD 4 is quite fun. Basically, I stopped playing Black Ops, and I started playing COD 4... Um, a lot. Uh, I just got raped. <coughs> Sorry. I started playing COD 4 a lot, uh, getting infection lobbies, because I, uh... That's what made it fun, and this is me failing from sun grenades. Um... Damn it, I forgot what I was saying now. Uh, COD 4 and get it down. So I was playing COD 4 quite a bit. Um, but then I tried to play Modern Warfare 2, but my Modern Warfare 2 disc had been wrecked because my Xbox is a stupid piece of crap and it kept scratching all my game discs. And if you've been scratching my channel, you know. Um, but then. Basically, I've waited until Christmas to get more for free because I was getting my PC then, so I thought I'd play it on you. And as I said last time, I am really enjoying more for free on PC. Um, I'm slowly starting to get back into Call of Duty. Um, and I'll say something. When I first started my YouTube channel, I was a card commentator. Um, but if you go back from my channels, you will not see any of those commentaries because I removed them because of the fact that my voice back then was so high and squeaky. It was such, it was really annoying. I couldn't even stand it, so I removed them. But now I'm really starting to get back into the whole Call of Duty commentary. And this channel is going to be dedicated to cards. Like, I'll just say any games that don't fit into, um, my Let's Play channel, the stuff with Penguin. I go through stuff, like my commentaries, way too fast. I gotta sort of slow down. Um, but I'm, I've got another gameplay, it's about 5 minutes long. I don't want to talk about it in our, ga in our gameplay, so if you want, you can leave me an idea for what I can talk about the commentary. It's only about 5 minutes long, so don't give me something that I can go into extreme detail in, because otherwise I'm not, I'll never finish a commentary. Um, 
So what else can I talk about? Oh yes, um, my dad recently ordered a steel hard drive for me, 500 gigabytes. Um, I gotta pay him when I see him next, obviously. But um, it's gonna take a few weeks to get the, to his, so there won't be any let's plays until then. But as soon as I get that, I'm gonna start filming Batman Arkham City, and I'm going to get Hitman Blood Money because uh, I'm gonna be getting Hitman Absolution later this year, and I want to get used to the whole uh, Hitman like gameplay. I could get Hitman 2 and Hitman. Oh, good. Around Christmas time, if you didn't see on Steam sale, they had the Hitman collection for four pound, and I was gonna ask my mom if I could get them, but she had gone out the night that the last night of the deal. So the next day I was kind of screwed. I was going to ask her the next day, but it already gone. How much is pro skill? Talk about lag compensation. <laughs> anyway guys, this game is starting to wrap up. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope to see you next time. Until then, peace out. Bye!